Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solutions of these three problems which are based on GP. Uh, this is from sequences and series chapter class 11. The first one is find the sum of the sequence 777, 777, etc. till n terms. So first you have to check whether these terms are in GP. So for that you have to find the common ratio. So 77 by 7 is 11 and 777 by 77 is 10.09 like this. So here the common ratio is not same. So you have to convert this sequence into GP. So for that you have to uh, go through this process. First you have to write, uh, uh, you have to find the sum of these terms. So first write 7 plus 77 plus 777 plus n terms. And here 7 is common, so you can take out 7 into 1 plus 11 plus 111 plus etc plus n terms. Again, you can check this. Here, this sequence is also not GP because 11 by 1 is 11 and 111 by 11 is the common ratio is not same here also. So, this is also not GP. So, again, you have to convert this into GP. For that, you have to first multiply this into uh, multiply with uh, 9 and again uh, divide with 9. So uh, now 7 by 9 into 9 into 1 plus 11 plus 111 plus etc plus n terms. Now you multiply this with 9, you will get 7 by 9 into 9 into 1, 9, 99, 9 into 11, 99, then 9 into 111, that is 999 plus etc plus n terms. Again, check here. This is also not GP. 99 by 9 and 999 by 99, the common ratio is not same. So here is a, it is also not GP. Again, you have to convert this into uh, 9. You can write as 10 minus 1. 99, you can write as 10, 100 minus 1. And 999, you can write as 1000 minus 1. Like that, you can write till n terms. So, here, uh, why we are writing like this? Because here 10, 100,000, these terms are in GP. Because 100 by 10 is 10 and again 1000 by 100 is also 10. And again, if you check 1, 1, 1 here. So, 1, 1, 1, all these are also in GP. So, now you can divide this like this. 10 minus 1, 100 minus 1, 1000 minus 1. That you can write as 10 minus 1 plus 10 square minus 1 plus 10 cube minus 1 till n terms. And again, you will divide uh, this into two uh, GPs. Like 10, 10 square, 10 cube at one place. And again, here minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. So you can take minus here. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus etc. till n terms. Here 10, 10 square, 10 cube till n terms. And again, 1, 1, 1, 1 also till n terms. So you have to write like this and 7 by 9 is common. So now you can check this is GP because here a is 10, uh, because here the common ratio is same that is 10. So first term a is 10 and r is equal to that is common ratio is 10. And here this is also GP because a here the common ratio is 1 and a is equal to 1, r is equal to 1 right here. Then you know the formula that is um, we know that if r is equal to 1, the common ratio is 1, then the sum is equal to n into a. If r is not equal to 1, then the sum is a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1. So substitute these values here. Now 7 by 9 into here a is 10. See here a is 10. So 10 into 10 to the power of n minus 1, r to the power of n. So r is 10. So 10 to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1. So 10 minus 1 minus here, see here, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus, this is also GP. So, here R is equal to 1. Here R is equal to 1. So, you have to write this one, N A. So, N into A is 1. So, N into 1. Now, this is 7 by 9 into uh, 10 into 10 to the power of N minus 1 by 9 minus, and 10 minus 1 means 9. So, 9 minus 1, 10. Now, by using this formula, you can find 7 plus 77 plus 777 till 5 terms. So, here n is equal to 5. So, substitute n value as 5. Then you will get this value. It is 6415. If you add separately till 5 terms, 777, 777 like this, then also you will get like this. So, you can directly use this formula for if the number of terms are more. 
similarly, you can use the formula by substituting any value. For example, 4 plus 44, if you want to find this one, then you have to just change this 7 into 4. And uh, similarly, the remaining formula is same. Only you have to change the n value here. And here, you have to change 4. Like this, you can find uh, 5 plus 55 like that. And other numbers also you can find if they are in this sequence. This is second problem. Find the sum of the sequence 0 0.7, 0 0.77, 0 0.777, etc. till to n terms. So first you have to check uh, whether this is GP or not. This is uh, similar to the previous one, but here the numbers are in decimal numbers. So first check here, this is not GP. If you take the common ratio, that is not same. So this is not GP. So you have to convert this into GP. Uh, then for that, you have to uh, write these steps. So SN is equal to 0.7 plus 0.77. You have to find this. So 7 is common here. So 7 into 0.1 plus 0.11 plus 0.111 plus etc. till n terms. Now, here if you check, this is also not GP. So you have to multiply with 9 again, divide with 9. Now 7 by 9 into 9 into write this. Now multiply uh, these terms into 9. Then you will get 7 by 9 into 0.9 plus 0.99 etc till n terms again check here this is also not gp so you have to again uh, write this as 0 0.9 you can write as 9 by 10 0 0.99 is 99 by 100 like this you have to write now 9 by 10 uh, here 9 you can write as in the numerator 10 minus 1 here 9900 minus 1 999000 minus 1 now this you can divide like this 7 by 9 into here 10 by 10 that is 1 minus 1 by 10. If you know directly you can write 9 by 10 as 1 minus 1 by 10 or you can divide like this then you have to write like this. So uh, now this is 1 minus 1 by 10 plus here 100 by 100 that is 1 minus 1 by 100. Similarly here also. And terms. Now separate uh, these ones separately you have to write here and 1 by 10, 1 by 100, 1 by 1000 separately you have to write because this is GP and again this is also GP. That's why you have to write separately here. So 7 by 9 is common here. So into uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 till n terms because all these are till n terms. So you have to write these are in n terms and again here minus is common. So minus into here 1 by 10 here 1 by 100 that is 1 plus 1 by 10 square because minus is uh, taken out. So you have to write plus 1 by 10 square here also 1 by 10 cube plus till n terms because all these are till n terms. So you have to write separately like this because this is GP, this is also GP. So separately you have to write and separately you, have, you can find the sum here. So 7 by 9 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus till n terms. So here A is equal to 1 that is first term and R is equal to common ratio that is 1. So he, if R is equal to 1 then Sn is equal to sum is n into a. So n into 1. a is equal to 1 here. And here a is equal to 1 by 10. And r is a 1 by 10 squared by 1 by 10. That is 1 by 10. So the common ratio is same here. So here you have to use uh, this formula. a into r to the power of n minus 1 by r minus 1. So here a is 1 by 10 into 1 by 10 whole to the power of n. 1 to the power of n is 1. So 1 by 10 to the power of n, you can write like this, minus 1 by r minus 1. r is 1 by 10 minus 1. So if you calculate this denominator, here 1 by 10 minus 1 is minus 9 by 10. So 7 by 9 into n minus 1 by 10 into, write this, then you can cancel 10, 10 here in the denominator. Then you will get finally, 7 by 9 into n, here minus again, here minus. So, plus 1 by 9 into 1 by 10 to the power of n minus 1. So, this is the sum of that sequence 0 0.7, 0 0.77, 0 0.777, this n terms. This is the problem. Find the sum of the sequence 5, 5.5, 5.55, etc. to n terms. So this is uh, different from the previous two problems. 
uh, here first to see whether it is a GP or not. So here 5, 5.5, if you take the common ratio, it is not same. So it is not in GP. So you have to convert this into GP. So first write SN is equal to 5 plus 5.5 plus 5.5, etc. Till n terms. So if you see here, if you write the first term in the decimal form 5.0, and the remaining all terms are like this, 5.5, 5.55 like this. So these are uh, uh, similar and uh, this is uh, different from these numbers. So you have to uh, exclude this term. So 5.0, you have to exclude from these terms. So you have to write separately 5.0. This is one term. If you exclude this term from this group, then the remaining terms are n minus 1 terms. So now you can write 5.0 plus the remaining are 5.5 plus 5.55 till n point one terms because you are excluding this term. Now you can write 5 plus uh, this you can write as 5 plus 0 0.5. 5.5 you can write as 5, point, uh, 5 plus 0 0.5 because uh, if you convert this into 0 0.11, if you see the previous problem, if you convert this into 0 0.1, 0 0.11, then it is easy to solve this problem. So you have to convert this in this in that form. So first to write 5 plus 0 0.5, and this you can divide as 5 plus 0 0.55, like this, till n point one terms. In the next step, uh, 5 plus, uh, again, you can uh, divide uh, these terms into two groups, because uh, here 5, 5, 5, all 5 terms are uh, 5, uh, terms are there and the remaining are 0 0.5, 0 0.55 like this. So you have to separate uh, these two uh, into two groups. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 uh, till n minus 1 terms plus again 0 0.5 plus 0 0.55 like this n minus 1 terms like this you can divide. And uh, now if you add this 5 because uh, in this group all numbers are 5 so you can add the uh, first term into this group then this group will become n terms because this is n minus 1 terms and if you add one more uh, 5 then it will become n terms. So 5 plus 5 plus like this n terms and the remaining here you can take out 5 as common 5 into 0 0.1 0 0.11 till n minus 1 terms because if you write in this form then it is easy to solve this problem. Uh, now if you see here it is uh, in ZP. Uh, this is uh, GP uh, because the uh, common ratio is same. So A is equal to 5. And uh, if R is equal to 1, then the sum is uh, N A. Uh, so 5 N. N A. N into A is 5. So 5 N plus. Here uh, this you have to divide 9 and again multiply with 9. So if you multiply with 9, then you will get uh, 5 into 5 by 9 into 0 0.9 plus 0 0.99 plus 0 0.999 till n minus 1 terms. Now, uh, 5n plus 5 by 9, uh, this you can write as 9 by 10.9, you can write as 9 by 10 plus 99 by 100 till n minus 1 terms. Then 5n plus uh, 5 by 9 into, this again you can write as 1 minus 1 by 10 plus 1 minus 1 by 100 because now uh, this is GP. 1 by 10, 1 by 100, 1 by 1000, all these terms are in GP. And again, you can separate 1, 1, 1 here also. So now you can separate 5n plus 5 by 9 into 1 plus 1 plus 1. These are n minus 1 terms and these are also n minus 1 terms. So you have to separate like this. Here minus is common. So minus into 1 by 10 plus 1 by 100, you can write as 10 square. Then 1 by 10 cube like this. Now, this is GP and this is also GP. So, here A is equal to 1, R is equal to 1. Here A is equal to 1 by 10, R is equal to 1 by 10 square by 1 by 10. That is 1 by 10. So, if R is equal to 1, SN is equal to NA. So, 5N plus 5 by N into here N is N minus 1 because N minus 1 terms. So, instead of N, you can write as N minus 1 into A is 1 minus uh, SN is A into R to the power of N minus 1. So, A is 1 by 10 into 1 by uh, R is 1 by 100, so, sorry, R is 1 by 10, so 1 by 10 to the power of N is N minus 1. So, 10 to the power of N minus 1 minus 1, because R to the power of N 1 to the power of N minus 1 is also 1 now. So, you can write only 1 by 10 to the power of N minus 1 minus 1, by again R minus 1, 1 by 10 minus 1. If you solve this, then you will get the final solution like this, 5N plus 5 by 9, N minus 1, 
here uh, if you calculate this denominator minus 9 by 10 then cancel 10 10 then minus 9 and uh, this is minus so plus 1 by 9 into 1 by 10 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 so this is the final solution for this problem now please do these practice questions These are the answers.